everyone, it's Chippy Kitty Ira. It's been a while since you last heard my voice in this video, is ha. Huh? <laughs> well, to be fair with you, this channel never was truly about me talking over my videos, but focusing on art and showcasing moments of the stories I've been working on. A lot of you who started following me years and years back know me for trying to create a visual story that goes for a longer plot, slow build-up, and attempts to work with a diverse cast. I'll let you all judge how good or bad it was for your taste. Personally, I think there was a lot of potential in all of the ideas and they were super fun to execute. But they clearly lacked better involvement for the cast as their own characters. And the key moments could have had better explanation and polish. Would I say it's all getting thrown away for the new stories to tell though? Actually, that's far from the truth. See, I wasn't satisfied with that storytelling and how the key points came to be. That is why it took me so long to start working on any other story about the well-known for your characters like Kelly, Draga, Nicole, Salinar, Scratch, South, Freddy, and quite a few characters for my friends who still stick around. The entire time I've been taking my time, not only have I been trying to go through my life and work towards getting a dream job, but also completely rewriting the best to give them a better execution and perspective from the direction I'm taking it. This is where the current subject comes in. This cover you're seeing in this painting? It's a rewritten story I tried to tell a long time ago, but with a much more concrete beginning, build up, and development of not only main characters, but also their relationships and reactions towards the events. Now, the new story takes a whole new element from my concept, but since this is the tale of how it all began within Sonic Universe for my cast, it felt most appropriate to use it as a way better introduction to Galarius and its lore. This is going to be a story about how Kelly first comes in alongside with the Lachesus, which are the dragons that you know so well by now, how she met the Sonic cast and got to introduce to the world outside of the place she was born and grew up in. Now, you probably noticed how I mentioned that it's taking place within Sonic Universe. While it's an obvious fact that this is going to be a fan comic, this is also a reflection of the first events of the original story if they took place there. As of this moment, while scripting the comic itself, well, which by the way has reached the halfway point of the plot, I'm slowly creating a parallel approach towards it with a cast that would be there instead of Sonic and his friends in the original content. The reason to it is that after I finish the entirety of the comic, I'm planning to fully transition Dark Children project into its own thing and try to pick it up from the ground for more than just working on it on my own. This comic is really important to me, and I want to give it everything I've got. The main reason to it is because I've finally found the direction I want to take with my stories, the genres and elements I want to work with, and most importantly, it's a tribute to the franchise that's pushed me to this point and shaped me into the animator and artist that I am now. So, once you see the pages of it, I really hope you enjoy it and share it with people you think can get interested in it. A lot of work is being put into this passion project, and I really hope it can eventually help Dark Children grow into something more. I've only finished the comics prologue so far, which will introduce you to the main three characters who will be following the most. Kelly will be naturally the major observation point of the story as the best eyes to see the world of both Mobius and Gilaris from. She's also the one who meets all of the Sonic cast one by one. The pages will begin in posted starting next week, and it will be two pages each Monday until that is out of the way. Afterwards, you'll have to wait until I finish issue one. While the posting will be happening, I'll do the best in my ability to finish a few preparations for it and get through as many sketches as humanly possible so you wouldn't have to wait for a year till it comes out. Because, unfortunately, that's how long it took with the prologue. And the explanation to it is the art style searching, attempts at finding ways to get drawings done fast but efficiently, and personal life draining me of all motivation to keep going. I'm in a better place now, so that will not be as much of an issue as it was before. I'd like to thank everyone who's been supporting me on the way to finishing this very introductory piece, including the people who has helped me not only polish visuals and writing more, 
but a couple of them were even kind enough to offer assistance with lining and coloring things. All of the people I'm grateful to will be linked in the description as well as credited where they're involved on each page. Thank you all for listening to my rambling. I hope to see you all on the pages as they get posted on DeviantArt, Twitter and Instagram. The comic will be of dark fantasy genre, will contain strong language, occasional disturbing visuals and sensitive subjects like depression, so it is not appropriate for a young age at all. Enjoy the rest of the drawing and I'll see you next Monday there.